Hey, shalom, shalom. This is Amawan from the Lions Den Kepa Yasha Allah. Coming at you guys with another lesson. Hope it's edifying to the Akim, to the Akwafim, to anyone that's out there listening. But before I get into it, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His Son in the Holy Proper True Names. And I want to say, Kal Halayim La, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Ha Rakak Wadash Ma'amoth. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS. Salutations to the Akim that's pushing this truth around the four corners of the earth. And also, I want to do a double honors to my elder as well, a hair of wine by Yasha Allah, of the Lions Den Camp of Yasha Allah. All right, top of them going into today is based upon how the righteous of the Lord is going to be flourishing. All right, they're going to flourish. All right, they're going to be rewarded and they're going to gain. All right, what? Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Lord, all right? Those that seek in him early, all right? Because the scripture says, those that seek me early shall find me, man, all right? And also going to the point where it's the ones that have the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Lord, all right, is a valuable man. Going back from what the brother Adanyala did, a lesson in regards to the Urim and the Thurim, all right? Going into how they are the uh, it, it is the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Lord. All right, and he go in depth into this lesson. And I'm gonna drop the link into the uh, into my description, all right, so you can check it out as well. All right, because he also made mention that how the men who have the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding are the valued men. All right, so those that's having the the, the riches of the Lord, which is this understanding. All right, the the, the wisdom. All right, this word. All right, which is the comforter, all right, that the Lord, Yahweh Shah, left for us, man, you know. So, with that being said, man, hey, I'm just going to go straight into it. So, the first scripture I'm going to go into is Proverbs chapter 13, all right, and I'm going to start at verse 7. So, it says, there is that make of himself rich, yet have nothing. There is that make of himself poor, yet have great riches, all right? So the scripture I'm bringing this out is because, you know, it's a lot of our people, you know, of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, all right, which make up the 12 tribes of Israel. These people, <laughs> they, uh, they think that gain is godliness, man, and they are coveting at the uh, uncertain riches, man, because hey, we are in the times where hey, these riches are definitely uncertain, all right, we're knowing that we're going into uh, the next month. Um, the Fed now is going to be presented, uh, and as well as the fiat currency is going to be switched to a digital currency uh, from the CBDC, all right? So we know not to trust in these uncertain riches, man, but to, to trust in the everlasting riches of the Lord, man, because why? It's going to be our stability at the times to come, all right? So those that's making themselves rich, all right, in this time, it's all for nothing. It's vanity, man, all right? But those that's building themselves up in the Lord, that's laboring in the Lord, that's doing the Lord's will, doing the Lord's work, is going to flourish. They're going to be, what, built up, increased, all right, and have protection in the times to come, man. So what the scripture say? It says, there is that making himself rich, yet have, have, yet have nothing. All right, and that's going into what Haggai, I think, one and six. Go to it right quick. Con Haggai one and six says, Ye have so much and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages earn of wages to put it into a bag with holes and that's pretty much what it is going on hey because these riches are are cankered all right they don't they don't have no real value man all right but the lord is value and his riches is the knowledge wisdom and understanding all right which no man can take from you all right that's why the scriptures says to lay up your treasures up in heaven where no moth nor rust nor thieves can break through nor steal man you know So it says what? It says there is that making himself poor, yet have great riches. And the scriptures also talk about how the Lord knows the uh, our, our poverty. He knows that we are in a, we in the lowest state, man. I believe it's Revelation chapter. Two. All 
All right. And this is Revelation 2 and 9. It says, I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. God, because the, the Lord knows that we, we in a, a low condition. All right. But he also knows that we are rich as well, man. Hey, because Deuteronomy 7 and 6 talks about how the Lord chose us to be a special people unto himself, to be above all nations upon the earth, man. You know, and that's a blessing, man. That's a gift to have, man. Like the Lord chose us above all these other nations, man. All right. So, hey, the ones who making himself poor, the ones that's, that's at a low estate, yet have great riches, man. You know, I'm going to skip down to verse 13. It says, whoso despises the word shall be destroyed, but he that fear of the commandment shall be rewarded, man. So, hey, the ones that's not hearkening to the Lord, man, that's not hearing all right, the prophet that's blowing the trumpet, all right, giving them warning to let them know what their transgressions and to, for them to turn back from their sins, to turn to the Lord, man, you know, repentance, man, you know, it's, it's still given, all right, the Lord still have compassion and mercy for his people, man, and, that, and his hand is still stretched out, but our people is disregarding it, man, you're not regarding the Lord, you're not acknowledging the Lord, all right. It says, whoso despises the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandments shall be rewarded. All right, so those that's, what, fearing, right, fearing the Lord, all right, keeping his commandments, all right, fearing his name, you know, uh, fearing him and, and, and acknowledging his name, man, you know, that is true, you know, shall be rewarded, man, you know. So let me go to uh, Sarah real quick. Sirach chapter 10, and I'm going to start at verse 19. It says, They that fear the Lord are a sure seed, and they that love him are an honorable, honorable plant. God, man, so those that fear the Lord are a sure seed, man. Uh, like and they that love him, all right, are an honorable, honorable plant. It says, They that regard not the law are a dishonorable seed and they that transgress the commandments are a deceivable seed all right so again those that's uh despising the truth despising the, the the words of the lord man it's gonna be destroyed man because if you if you're being honored as a, a deceivable and a, a dishonorable seed you can be tossed into that fire and be destroyed you know what i'm saying but if you're being honored as a glorious plant all right the ones that's a, a sure seed that's what's uh, that's gonna really bear fruit and and, 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 and and flourish as a tree, all right. The Lord's gonna keep you in his garden, you know, and keep watering you to make you increase, man. You know. So McGord verse 22, it says, Whether he be rich, noble, or poor, their glory, their glory is is the fear of the Lord, man. You know, and that's how we're being glorified. We're being glorified by, by the Lord by fearing him, man. You know, falling after his law, statutes, and his commandments, man. You know, keeping them, you know, because they are definitely wholesome. All right. They are definitely, uh, most definitely uh, honorable as well as a great rich, man. You know, so what the scripture says, whether he be rich noble or poor their glory is the fear of the lord it says it is not it says it is not meat to this to the despise the poor and that's what you know a lot of these nations as well as two thirds of our people like they do and like this despise the poor because why they it, they got it going on man but in due time the flip is the script is going to be flipped to where them thinking that their gain is godliness is going to be turned upside down all right, and it's gonna be for their ultimately their their this their demise, man. You know, it, it's not gonna be a, a sufficient for them. All right, hey, because we definitely in the times of Jacob's trouble, man. All right, it says it is not meet to 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 despise the poor man that have understanding, right? Because that poor man that have understanding, man, is really the rich man. You know, it says neither is it. Convenient to magnify a sinful man. And that's what pretty much the population are doing. They're glorifying the, the sinner. You know, the sinner is being boasted up, you know, 
whether it be the average Joe to the to celebrity to the higher ups, you know, they, they, they glorify and sin. You know what I'm saying? And that's an abomination to, to, to the Lord, man. You know? Verse 20, uh, verse 30. It says, The poor man is honored for his skill, and the rich man is honored for his riches, man. All right? Come, because the, the poor man receive of gifts from the Lord, man. All right? The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man, how to, you know, Speak unto his people, man. It's a skill, man. You know, he gave us talents, man. He wants us to, to multiply them, you know. So that, that poor man is honored for his skill. It says, and the rich man is honored for his riches. All right? It says, he that is honored in poverty, how much more in riches? And he that is dishonorable in riches, how much more in poverty, man? Come, man, because it's it's. Hey, the scripture says that the Lord can suddenly make a, a poor man rich, man. You know, and he could bring a high, a high, uh, the high ones from 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 above down, and bring the ones that's that's in the dust on top, man. You know, the Lord is the author, and and the Lord, you how about some of y'all was shy? It's not an author of confusion, man. You know, so it says he that's honor in poverty, how much more in riches, man? Because again, the Lord can. You know, the ones that's, that's, that's been honored in poverty, you know, how much more in riches, man, because the Lord can will give us everything, man. He, it, it's a promise that he's going to give us everything, man. You know. God, man. So, hey, at any moment, anything can flip, man. You know what I'm saying? So, the, the best thing to do is to, to stay patient. And to wait on, on your how about some y'all was shot to redeem you, man. All right. Because hey, they the ones that's gonna give you the increase. They, they, they the ones that's gonna make you flourish as a branch uh, as a branch or as a tree, you know. All right, so let me go to Psalms chapter 92. And go to verse 12. It says the righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. In Lebanon. All right. It says though that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God, Yahweh. Right. So the righteous shall flourish like a palm tree, man. Hey, the righteous is going to flourish as a branch, as a, as a, a watered garden. All right. You know, he's going to grow up, man. You know, strong and healthy, you know, and not wither. All right, because why? They are on that 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 ground of of, of the Lord. They're on that foundation of the Lord. They've been rooted on your on, on the on the foundation of your house shot, man. And if you're rooted on your house shot, you you won't wither. You know what I'm saying? Because why? The, the Lord is pouring water on you. As long as you're taking that water in and dispersing it out onto onto the people, you know. Like giving charity, you know, to our people, you know, the Lord going to keep you, man. But those that's not producing fruit, that's not bearing righteous fruit, all right, it's going to be cut down and tossed into the fire, man, and, and not have no use for it, man, you know. But but like the scripture saying, verse 13 says, though that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God, man, you know, and that's why we... That's why the, the men of the Lord is preaching to our people, all right, letting them know to return unto the house of the Lord, all right, because those that's going into these mischievous houses, these troubled houses, is is seeking damnation. They, they don't have a real covering, man, you know. That's like them building their house upon sand, and when the waves come, it's going to wipe it away because it's not on a solid, solid foundation. You know, so it says the righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon, Lebanon, and those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. It says they shall still bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing, man. 
kind because the Lord, the Lord will make makes it makes it makes his people fat, the ones that fear him. All right, the ones that are seeking after him, that take counsel from him. All right. It says to show that the Lord is upright. He is my rock, Khan. Definitely, Yahweh Shai is our rock. All right. Our fortress, our high tower. You know, according to Proverbs 18 and 10. You know, it says the, 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 it says what? Uh, 18 and 10, it says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous run up into it, and it's safe, man. So, Yahweh Shai is our strong rock, our strong fortress, our, you know, strong tower. It says the righteous run up into it, and it's safe, man, you know. So, that's our safety, man. But that's why the scripture says in Micah, it says, this is not your rest, man. It is polluted, and it surely shall destroy you. So, we're not supposed to be resting in this place here in this earth you know what i'm saying in this in this land but to be resting in the lord man because that's that's where we that's where we belong that's where we're gonna get peace that's where we're gonna get safety that's where we're gonna get knowledge wisdom and understanding you know so let me go to proverbs chapter 11 verse 28 It says, he that trusteth in his riches shall fall, but the righteous shall flourish as a branch. All right? Gone, because those that's trusting in their riches, man, in these uncertain riches, all right, it's going to fall, you know? You're not on solid ground, all right? It's going to cave in. It's going to collapse under your feet, man. We seeing what's going on with these banks, man. Everything is uncertain. People can't even withdraw their monies, all right? People can't even get their money. People don't have access to their banks. You know, something I heard about Wendy Williams, you know, a few, like a year ago. She 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 got 50 plus million in her bank account. She can't get no access to it. She can't pay her bills. She can't pay her, her, her kids' bills. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, everything is uncertain. So you don't have access. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to have true access to your money in due time. All right? And if you do, it's going to be watch is going to be controlled all right so back to proverbs chapter 11 verse 28 it says he that trusteth in his riches shall fall but the righteous shall flourish as a branch you know it says he that trouble trouble of his own house shall inherit the wind and the fool shall be servant to the wise of heart so those that trouble of their own house all right by increasing in these cankered riches all right being about an, a, another man's business rather than being about Yahweh Bar's from Yahweh Shah's business, all right, is troubling their house, man. It says they shall inherit the wind, you know, and that wind is destruction, you know. So it says, and the fool shall be servant to the wise of heart, man. It says, the fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, you know. So the fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, man. Those that bear righteous fruit from the Lord is a tree of life. And they're going to flourish, right? It says, and he that went of souls is wise, man. God, man, that's beautiful. You know, those that's like actually giving charity to the, to the Lord's people, man. Blowing that trumpet, man. Sparing not. Lifting up that voice like a trumpet, man. You know? Showing their people, our people, their transgressions and their sins, and to what to return back to the Lord, man. You know, that's winning souls, man. And the Lord consider you wise, and that's pleasing unto the Lord, especially the men that's out there day in and day out, week in and week out, prophesying the downfall of this kingdom, all right, spreading the gospel, you know, letting our people know what's going on. But that's, that's a pleasing thing unto the Lord, man. Verse 31 says that behold, the righteous shall be recompensed in the earth much more than the wicked and the sinner, man. So it's a reward in this thing, man. If you stay true to your Yahweh by Yahweh if you're seeking after these cankered riches, again, it's not going to be healthy for you, man. All right. You will be sick in these times to come, man, because we're in a time of famine right now. We're in a time of, uh, uh, you know uncertainty for a, a lot of a lot of things that's, that's going on man we got we in a time of pestilences man you know diseases running wild man you know 
Esau coming down with great wrath because he knows that he have but a short time. So it's to be is 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 best to be wise and to what understand what the times that we in because the scripture says to measure the time diligently in itself, man. All right. So it says he verse thirty one. Behold, it says, Behold, the righteous shall be recompensed in the earth. So the Lord's gonna recompense us what double, you know. You know. This is much more than the wicked and the sinner, man. So the Lord gonna increase us more than the wicked and the sinner, man. And that's what we that's what you wanna be a part of, man. So let me go to uh back to Sirach, chapter eleven. Start at verse twenty two. It says the blessing of the Lord is in the reward of the godly, the righteous, the meek, you know, the lowly. It says, and suddenly he make up his blessing to flourish. God, because again, the Lord can make a man rich, you know, at an instant, you know, from being at a poor or lower state. You know, that's why we have to wait on the Lord to redeem us, to give us richly all things to enjoy. It says the blessing of the Lord is is in the reward of the godly, and suddenly he make of his blessing to flourish. Right? It says, "Say not what profit is there of my service." Come, man, don't don't ever ask what the profit of your service, because the scriptures tells us that the work that we do to uh, for the Lord, all right, doing according to His will, is not going to be in vain. All right, so just to keep going, to keep doing. The, the, the righteous work of the Lord, man, being a sure seed of the Lord, man, so that you can be abundantly uh, pardoned from your sins, all right, as well as to gain the kingdom, to be what, to have everlasting life, to have everlasting riches, all right, to be honored by the Father and the Son, all right, and not man, you know, but by the Father and the Son, all right, being glorified from them and not glorified from from men or from the, the from the earth, you know, it's that that it's, it's rewards and gifts. It's, it's going to be pouring like milk and honey, you know. That's going to be presented to us or given to us, man. You know, so it says, "Say not what profit is there of my service, and what good things shall I have hereafter, man?" You know, because the Lord give us the increase, man. It says the um Sirach one and twenty five. It says the parables of knowledge are in the treasures of wisdom, but godliness is an abomination to a sinner. All right, so the parables, the the, the dark secrets, the, the 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 deep, the deep sayings of the Lord. Right, it says the parables of knowledge are in the treasures of wisdom, man. So the the the, the more you you dive in, all right, the richer that it, you you become. And because the scripture says in um in Revelations, it says, "Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand." So those it says what? Blessed is he that readeth, man. So blessed are those that readeth, man, and keep of the sayings of the Lord and hear. The prophecies of the Lord, man. You know, blessed are you. You know. Verse 26, he says, If thou desire wisdom, keep the commandments, and the Lord shall give her unto thee. It says, For the fear of the Lord is wisdom, and instruction, and faith, and meekness are his delight. It says, Just Distrust not the fear of the Lord when thou art poor, and come not unto him with a double heart. God, so don't come at, don't come unto the Lord with a double heart, man. And hey, just trust in the Lord, trust in in, in, in the process, man. And hey, the scriptures talks about in uh, Sirach two, it says, "My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thyself for temptation." And it says, "To set thy heart aright and constantly endure." And make not haste in time of trouble, man. You know, 
because what it says in verse 4, it says, Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. So knowing that the Lord, you know, is, is going to be dealing with us, all right, because the scripture says he chastises of those he, whom he love, you know. And the scriptures also say, it says, those who hear of me, you know, hear of them, hear of me, you know. So the ones that's hearing and hearing the, the Lord, all right. Is gonna be instructed, you know, guided. All right, we just gotta trust the process, man. So it says, "What distrust not the fear of the Lord when thou art art poor, and come unto Him, and come not unto Him with a double heart." You know, we gotta so we gotta stay, you know, ten toes down for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. You know, and knowing that He turned away our sins, and also He could turn away wrath. And also that he can increase of more in his riches, man. That's why the scripture says, blessed is he that read of, man. And, you know, the ones who's, who who has this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and those that are seeking it, it's going to flourish, all right? And they're going to re be rewarded, man. And it's not going to be in vain, all right? So with that being said, I'm going to say shalom to the next